It was a paradoxically dreary afternoon in the office that day. I was working late to make sure we met audit standards and I could feel a certain thickness in the air, its weight overcoming me as I went through charts. This wasn't the first late afternoon I'd spent in the office, as we have been shut down in the past before for unsafe working conditions. I wasn't going to let that happen again. And then, she walked into my life. It was almost like a dream, picturesque, like a sculpture. Can you help? The question bristled with several plausible and terrible interpretations. Something's wrong with Shelby. My heart raced as I arrived at the threshold, but I was too late. She was already gone. She looked so peaceful now. She had taken her last donation. What are you doing? Just bringing in donations for Shelby? Donations for a dead person? Can't you see she's had enough? Don't you get it? No matter how many charts I audit, no matter how many late nights I have, Somebody always gets hurt. And look at our sweet little baby angel Shelby, master of donations. Now she's dead. They had to have 12 weeks of donations, Cobb said. They had to have them. I did my best to tell them. I told them somebody was going to get hurt. They had to have their donations. What's going on here? We thought you were dead. What with all the blood? I just got messy with my PB and J. It's jelly, you idiot. She had duped me. I looked in those viper eyes and I was hooked from the start. I mean, how was I supposed to know that was jelly? What am I, a doctor? I could be a doctor. Yeah. Off to doctor school. <laughs> 